Hello, good afternoon. I'm very excited to talk to you about a little bit about my organization, but mostly one uh, fabulous story of one of the companies that we have brought investment capital to. So my NGO, Upstart Collab, we work at the intersection of impact investing and the creative economy. We're bringing capital to creative people who make a profit and make a difference. And if the term impact investing is not familiar to you, let me briefly define it. Uh, this is investment. It's not a gift. It's not a grant. It's not a, a donation of any kind. It's a proper investment in a profitable, profitable company. Uh, but in addition to making a profit, the investor also wants to have a positive impact for the workers, for the community, and for the environment. So social and environmental impact needs to go hand in hand with a return of and on capital to investors. What we do is we connect those investors to companies that meet that definition, that are doing good in the world and generating revenue and making a profit. And I'm going to tell you the story of one company, Upriver Studios, where we brought an investor. We actually brought three investors, and I happen to be on the board of this company as well. This company exists in the Hudson Valley of New York State. Uh, this is about two hours north of New York City. It's a beautiful area. Uh, we do not have the Nile, but we have the Hudson River. We have the Catskill Mountains. Uh, there's a lot of agricultural land, forest land, very s beautiful small towns, uh, bucolic college campuses. It's a lovely place. The adjacency to New York City makes it very convenient for film and TV production. And that's what Upriver Studios focuses on. It's a film and TV soundstage. And it was launched by a, a crea creative person named Mary Stewart Masterson. She chose to launch Upriver Studios as a public benefit limited liability corporation. So in the, uh, in the corporate structure of the business, the business promises that they will be focused on workers, on the community, and on the environment. Mary Stewart is an example of an actor, a writer, a director, a creative person herself who's chosen to move beyond traditional arts and culture and to launch a for-profit social purpose business in a creative industry that she knows well. She was a child actress. She was in the movie the, uh, the Stepford Wives back in the day. So she has been working in film and TV her entire life. And so she has set out to, to not only solve a problem for herself, a working actor who would like to be able to work close to home, but to use this as a way to generate economic opportunity for the community around her. Uh, what is Upriver Studios trying to do from an impact perspective? They're thinking about environmental sustainability, but they're very much thinking about jobs and economic opportunity for the entire community. This is not dissimilar from some of the things Andrea was just describing. When they opened up River Studios in 2021, they really had some good luck. They attracted as their first tenant in the film and TV soundstage an HBO series, Pretty Little Liars. Uh, from a content perspective, it's just very um, uh, fun content, but it showed, it proved the potential of this model. Uh, this opened uh, coming out of the pandemic when film and TV production was just getting going again. It was a real win for the company. It was the first uh, tenant to be in the sound stage, and it demonstrated the ability of this new facility to handle a really large production. What happened? With this production in Upriver Studios, they were able to hire people. They were able to bring revenue into this local community and spend for businesses that are local. Uh, this is a, as I said, Hudson Valley is a beautiful community. It's a weekend community to a large extent. And if you live there full time uh, and you are not an independent worker, you have four job opportunities. You can work as a prison guard in the prisons that are in upstate New York. You can work in casinos. You can work in the cannabis industry or in the fracking industry, which is a way to get um, oil production from underneath the ground using water. It's very bad environmentally. So there are four unhealthy uh, industry options or there's film and TV. And so this is one of the reasons it's very attractive to local government to see the film and TV economy growing in the region. In terms of environmental sustainability, Upriver Studios is thinking both about onset practices, like eliminating plastic water bottles, 
as well as infrastructure choices in terms of the type of energy they use, the type of lighting they use. Uh, so they are really starting to be a model of what green, environmentally friendly film and TV production can look like. Uh, where does impact investing come in? To support a business that is working in a film and TV and wants to be good to the workers, the community, and the environment, you need investors who care about those priorities as well. And so they have been able to tap four impact investors to date who agree with their impact proposition and want to be patient in terms of receiving their financial return over time and see this company grow and stay in, in the region. So this is where the right type of capital can enable the creative entrepreneur to have impact through their business. But the business alone is insufficient. You really need an ecosystem. And so the same entrepreneur launched uh, an NGO called Stockade Works to train women, young people, people of color, and veterans to work behind the scenes in film and TV production, to operate sound and camera and lights and do makeup and to train people who would not otherwise have access to this industry to get into this industry for jobs that are very good jobs with health benefits, with retirement benefits, and to open this up to a more diverse workforce. Uh, they do training to uh, provide that vocational expertise that these people will need to be able to start working immediately and be able to apply and qualify to join in the, the union. The third element of the model is around policy, and it's working with government to ensure that there is an attractive financial tax credit that will bring film and TV production to upstate New York. This map of North America shows you other hubs for film and TV production around, uh, around the, the hemisphere, around the continent. And so the idea is what will make people prioritize upstate New York relative to Los Angeles, New Mexico, Vancouver, Toronto, et cetera. Uh, there was a lot of work and great success in this last year where Upriver Studios with other uh, partners in the region were working closely with the office of the governor of the state of New York to ensure that the financial incentive, the tax credit that would uh, be available if you brought your film and TV um, production to upstate New York would be financially competitive with what was on offer elsewhere around the region. So just uh, in, in summary, um, Upriver has shown a lot of promise in its first few years. It's only been open since 2021. Uh, they have so demonstrated the potential of film and TV to local government that they now have been tapped as the media partner for a large county initiative which is going to focus on uh, technology, innovation, new manufacturing, workforce housing, and a number of other benefits for the region. And happy to answer other questions about this during any of the breaks. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to tell you a little bit about what we see happening in the United States.